So this week, I'm gonna show you how to set up some of the custom functions on your Sony camera. Now, this isn't an in-depth menu system tutorial or showing you everything there is to know on the menus. Plenty of YouTube videos out there, search them. There's probably some, uh, which side would it be? There's probably some, that side, down there somewhere. What I am gonna do is go through the essentials. So the custom buttons and the function menu and also your dials and how to set those up. So you've got access to everything really easily. I'm, I suppose, what you call a hybrid shooter. Sometimes I'm doing photo shoots, other times I'm shooting video. So I suppose this setup is almost a hybrid setup. So it gives me the best of both worlds. Now on the Sony system, there are three different customizable functions. So there are the dials. It's these twiddly bits here, there, and there. There's the custom function buttons. So C1, 2, C3, and C4. And then there's also the function menu, which is this FN button on the back. So the main settings you wanna access are ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. So it makes sense on the A7 cameras to have your ISO on this dial here, so you can easily access it. Then I have shutter speed on this dial at the top here. And then I have aperture on this dial at the front here. The other way that you can customize this camera is with the custom buttons. So you have C1, C2 on the top here, then you have C3 on the shoulder, and you have C4 down here. And the third way to customize this camera is the function menu, which is this FN button here. What this does, you can see, it puts up a list of different things that you can access quickly. So this is how you set up all of these things to make it easier to shoot with. So we'll go into the menu system, so press menu, these tabs along here, go across to the second one along, which is the, the settings diagram thingy. And then work your way across to, on this one, the A7S Mark II, it's on submenu six. What we're looking for is function menu set, custom key settings, and then dial setup. So with this dial setup, what I do is set it to aperture on the front ring. So this changes my F number and then shutter speed on the back. If you prefer it the other way around, you can change it to that. But this just refers to the top two dials. So if you come back out of that, and then we go, next thing we're gonna work on is custom key settings. So you can see I've got control wheel set to ISO. This means that when I'm shooting, when I turn this dial, you can see the ISO changes. So I've got quick and easy access to ISO. So next we're gonna go into custom key settings and then look at the other ones. So custom button one, I've got set on this, on the A7S, I've got it set to movie function. Because the movie button is in such an awkward place on the side here, I just set this custom button one as a movie record button, as you can't assign it to your shutter button. So this just means I've got a dedicated button to start filming movies. If we go down on the next one, I set this to white balance because this is custom two button on the top. And this is back to the days when I was shooting with the GH4 and white balance is up on the top as well. So I just like to keep it familiar. So on my A7S, I've got the next custom button, custom button three, this is this one up here, set to zoom. So this is clear image digital zoom. I think that's what Sony calls it. Basically this means I can zoom in and zoom out on it. So the next one is custom button four, this rubbish bin button down here. I set this to autofocus, manual focus, control toggle. So say if I'm shooting, I need to grab focus. I'll press the focus button, I'll lock on focus, and then I'll press this. And this will mean that the focus is set so I can switch between manual and autofocus. With the center button, I keep that as standard. That means that it selects the focus box. The one downside with the Sony cameras is you don't have a touch screen, so you can't move your focusing box around like on the GH4, GH5, the new Sonys and the Canons, the, the touchscreen Canons. So you need quick access to where you want to focus. On the second list of custom settings, so if you press right, you'll come across to subsection two. And so these are the buttons, so left button, right button, down button, are all the buttons that you press on this dial. When I'm photographing things, obviously I need to change the drive mode from single shot to rapid fire to delayed time. This is something that I use on a daily basis. So I press the right side and then it gives me this drive mode. Quick and easy access. The next setting is focus magnifier. So when I'm shooting in manual focus mode, 
and press right on the dial, it comes up with that square, and then I press the center button to zoom in. Then I can grab critical focus. So the next on the custom key settings is the down button. Now, one really good function of this camera is the auto eye detect. So when you hold the camera up to your face, it switches between the LED on the back to the EVF. It is, however, sometimes really annoying. So you put your hand in front of it and it switches automatically. So what I tend to do is stick that onto manual and then have this down button on the directional pad as finder monitor select. What this does is when I press this, it goes to EVF then I press it again and it comes back to monitor. So it toggles between the two. One of the other customizable function buttons is this AF, MF and AEL button. This switch switches between the two so it's like a dual function button and it's fully customizable. When this is switched down, it's pointing towards the AEL which refers to this AEL button. I have this on audio record level and obviously this is a function for shooting movies. When I'm shooting movies, I have it switched down to this AEL function, then I press that and it comes up with my audio record level. So I can change this to whatever I want. Then we have the AF-MF button. This is when we switch it up to the top. So the AF-MF button, I have it to AF on. Since I've been shooting, I've gotten used to back button focusing. If you're not sure what back button focusing is, have a look online, search it on YouTube. I learned this off one of Jeff Cable's brilliant videos on, I think it's like 15 things that you need to know about your camera. But back button focusing is great, especially for sports and things like that. It kind of means that your camera is autofocus, manual focus, it's like semi-automatic focusing. It's great, it works really well. But when this is switched to the top, I press this button and it will grab focus. The last one is the focus hold button. This basically refers to specialized lenses that have buttons on the sides. I just keep this as focus hold. I don't have any lenses at the moment in my Sony camera setup that allow me to do this. So the third and final thing to set up is the function menu. That's this FN button here. So when you press it, you've got access to 12 different options. So to change this, you go into menu, and on this one it's setting number six, function menu set. So look for function menu set. This is basically how I set it up. These are the things that I access the most, but not as regularly as the options on the custom buttons. So I have smile face detect, gamma display assist, creative style, steady shot, steady shot focal length, and zebras. And that's in the upper section of the function menu. To change these, all you do is, whichever one you want to change, you select it, and then you just go up and down to try and find the one that you want in that location. Then if you press across to this subsection two, it'll give you the lower level of function options. So on this, I have focus mode, metering mode, picture profile, steady shot adjust, focus area, and shoot mode. So now when I come into my function menu, it's all here. If I wanna change the zebras, they're there. So if in movie mode, I can change that really easily there. Focus area, I can change this from well, whichever setting I want, and so on and so forth. So this is a really easy, quick way of accessing so many different functions. So it means the nightmare that is the menu system on the Sony cameras can become quite easy and straightforward. So there's one other bonus I've got for you today, and it's a way of keeping the Super 35mm or the APS-C function within easy reach. So what I'll do is I'll hit the menu button, and then I'll find APS-C Super 35, which is in subsection six on the A7S. What I'll do is I'll leave it on that and then I'll start filming for the day. So then, unless you go into the menus and change anything else, whenever you hit menu, it comes straight to APS-C. You can even turn the camera off and turn it on again, and it'll still be there. So this is just a workaround to have quick and easy access to this function. Now everyone's different, so you may want to set these up differently, but this is how I like doing it. If you have any ways of making these menus even better, let me know in the comments below or drop me an email. And as always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. And if you want to see more, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.